Here's some things you don't see on a modern automobile. First of all, let's find the gas tank. You can see there's no gas door on this side. No gas door back here. It's got to be over here, no? Okay, so where do you put the gas in? Yeah, that's right here. Could open that door up and get to the gas tank so it actually goes in the fin. Okay, here's an obvious thing that you don't see most of the time. These little buttons here. That's their locks. Lock the doors. And a lot of people don't see this anymore. I'm gonna roll up the window. You ain't gotta hand crank it. You definitely don't see this little lever here anymore. What's it do? It opens up the side vent window, which you could really crank around, and when you're moving along, it really throws the air in. We'll look in the interior and see if there's anything in here they don't have anymore. Well, I bet you won't see this little device. Here's a device you don't see. Turn the car on. Press that in, and when that gets real hot, it'll pop back out. Here, just pop out. You see it's right on the inside, that's how you lit your cigarettes. It's the lighter. And of course, go along with the lighter, you rarely see this anymore, ashtrays. I mean, they smoked so much back in the day here in the back seat, they even had ashtrays. Okay, a couple more things. Just an AM radio. That's it. And an analog clock with the hands. I have that disconnect. Here's some really interesting things. You pull to turn the lights on right here. But the most interesting thing is... What's that button there for? Okay. You see on top of the speedometer here, there's a little Chevy symbol. When you touch that button down there on the floor we just filmed, it turns red. That's your high beam. Okay, one last one. Here's one last one that you rarely see on any cars anymore. What is that pedal there? I mean, over here is the gas and the brake. This is an automatic. But what would that pedal be? Believe it or not, you stepped on that little pedal there to pump fluid for your windshield washer. That's what that's for. Now, another obvious thing you don't see is those big round air cleaners. couple dual horns here. You only see one horn in most vehicles. One other feature, the red light is obviously your brakes, turn lights. But where are the backup lights, the white ones? Well, they go right there, but there's none that came with this car because backup lights were an option back then. So if you do back up at night in this car, it's kind of hard to see what's behind you. Okay, there's one, another unusual feature on this 57 Chevy. It's the shift pattern. This is a Paraglide two-speed tra automatic transmission. You're in, after you come out of park, you're in neutral, drive, low, and way over there is reverse. Here's an original vehicle inspection sticker from 1957 to 58. That had been good through the end of April 1958. This is 1957 Chevy. Certainly you don't see this type of styling. Those are called hood rockets, dual hood rockets on the front.